So, uh, where did you get the tea set? Good question. My mother brought it back for me on one of her business trips before she died. Pretty neat, huh? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's actually a pretty awesome. <laughs>
ever 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 since I don't know how to say that never heard of this word or seen it before I have no clue what that last word means you and me both no problem Yuri so painting of mark huh she looks at me with a dire and a confused expression it's like she's been offended oh no it's Portrait of Markov. She lightly chuckles. Yeah, that one. Would you like to read it with me today? Sure, why not? I sit down next to the purple woman. He fidgets a little bit before settling, then slides the book between us. We read for a while, our shoulders pressed together, her lavender scent filling my nostrils. Eventually, Yuri speaks up. Would you like some tea, Finn? Uh, yeah, all right. Whoa! 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 All of a sudden, Yuri's tea set crashes through the closet door. Sayori so lets out a yelp from near the closet where the tea set was resting. I turn around in shock. It beelines out the club room door. Oh, huh, that's new. Yuri, again? <laughs> I just can't. I just can't see the um the the the, the set just went. Whoop. Guess it went absolutely fast, like Sandy. Monica glares at Yuri. Uh, what? I I'm sorry, Monica. It won't happen again. I know I believe in you, Yuri, but you can be the strong, independent girl that you want to be, even if that involves controlling your telekinesis. Wait, what? Telekinesis? Is is she secretly from the future, like Silver? I definitely hope it's no use. Now, back to literature. Monica seems to disappear. Following that, strangely motivational disciplining, I turn my attention back to Yuri. So, when did you learn telekinesis? Good question. My mother learned it on one of her business trips. Before she died. Pretty neat, huh? Awesome! The tea set floats back to us, the cup's entirely filled. Oh! Well, that's nice, and it's a, um... It's a PNG, I guess. I grab one and take a sip. It tastes like a taste. What? It just tastes like... Taste? Taste flavored? I don't know. This is great! Yuri, thanks. You, you really mean that? Yep. Ah, thank you, Finn. So, uh, where did you get the tea set? Good question. My mother brought it back for me on one of her business trips. Before she died. Pretty neat, huh? Awesome. <laughs> that's, that's actually a pretty awesome. Okay, everyone, time for you to leave. That's a bit more forward than I remember it being. I say my goodbye as an exit the club with Sayori. Uh... Okay, we already know the uh, the, the previous ones, and we have some new dialogue here. You were looking at Yuri's painting, huh? And what of it? She giggles. Nothing. Okay, we start cute together. Maybe someday, but only after the scene where we go to the cafe and say it's not a date while nervously holding hands. Sayori blinks a little. Eh, I don't know. Alright, looks like we part ways. Bloody, bloody, bloody. And now we're back to school. I approach the club room door and hear voices going to and fro. And then I said, That's not a hippo, that's my wife. I entered the club, really taking in the flooring joke Monica bestowed. It's up on my ears. Bruh! Why? No! Why? 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 Uh, I already went through this. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I admit defeat. I get it. Haha, -ha, funny. Sayori hanging jokes are funny in the DDLC community. Haha. -ha. Uh, it's 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 that's honestly getting old for me. But whatever. Uh, I I uh, I guess I'll just have to endure it. Looks like Yuri is over by the closet. Can I go converse with her? I know it's been like what day. But I think her eloquence is really rubbing off on me. Now, not to be a filthy weeaboo pro tag or anything, but dang, does she look like an anime girl. Why this if I do say so myself? <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Getting off track. On the other hand... What? Not Tsuki! What? Why is she suddenly small again? I don't really feel any of Natsuki's charm rubbing off on me. Maybe if I was into... No. No. It's like I told you yesterday. Manga is literature. Okay. Yep, I was right. She is small again. <laughs> Hello again, small Suki. Yes, this again, book girl. Hey, camera. I'm down here. It doesn't matter anymore. I already said what I wanted to say. Thanks for nothing. What are you waiting for? Pan up so Yuri can respond. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Natsu... What? Bleh! How are you even moving? Let me fix you. <laughs> Going after uh, Sayori's corpse like that. Alright. Uh, let me just take a little quick water break. Just water. So, where were we? I'm not really sure I have the urge to continue the debate on why you're wrong. Jeez, are you really that spineless? No wonder you don't have any friends. Uh, aw. Too far? I... I should probably go confront Yuri. Yuri? Hmm. Calling her didn't work. Looks like I'm going to have to do some walking. Maybe she's down these stairs. Ah. Oh, there you are. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of blood. Are you on your... period? Huh? Uh, uh... Hold on. Silly me. Periods don't come blood from your arm. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Why? I would, you know, since I have <laughs> one every month. <laughs> what? I should not question that then. That's right. I, Finn, am can canonically a girl now. <laughs> if I'm canonically a girl, then I guess you should just call me Fiona the Diamond Knight. <laughs> Fiona TDK, I suppose, but eh. <laughs> but only in the Yuri route. I mean... Should have expected this from the name. Yes, I get it. Lesbian joke. I, I was just, just making tea. Oh, and also, as for that joke I just did, I'm sorry. I, it's, it's completely harmless, and I didn't mean it. That's right, making tea and nothing else. Ah, yes, just making a uh, blood red tea there. Totally normal. I. Wasn't cutting myself or anything like that. Why would I do something so strange? Oh, so that's what you're doing. No, I... Yuri pauses as she averts her gaze. Yes, I was cutting myself. Was talking about the tea, but go off, I guess. I've been doing it as long as I can remember. I understand if you hate me now, you don't have to talk to me anymore. Why would I hate you? You... you don't? I think you're... pretty poggers. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure what that word meant. Give me, me, give me a moment. Oh, I, I, I'll give you a, um, a definition for that one. It's basically like...
There we go. That's that's what poggers meant. Yuri pulls out a dictionary and starts furiously flipping its pages. <laughs> oh, that's neat that she, her eyes are looking through that. Forget it. Cutting yourself probably isn't the most productive hobby, but it doesn't make you less any less of a person. So keep your chin up. You have the whole club to support you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yuri has trouble speaking as tears begin forming around her eyes. But they hate me. You heard what Natsuki said earlier. That's just Natsuki being Natsuki. A half-height banshee that really likes drawings of anime girls, that is. She's just projecting her own feelings onto you since she felt attacked. Let me see. Yuri wipes some tears from her cheek, getting blood on it. You, uh, may have- may want to wash off in the bathroom. We can talk about <laughs> getting you some help some other time. Uh, Alright. Thank you, Finn. Anytime. I'll walk you back to the club when you're ready. Right. Oh! This, uh, this- the, the, the hallway is now dark. This time there are no voices inside the club room. Just silence. You ready? She nods. Hearing the door open, Natsuki gets up from the corner where she has been hunched up. Hey. Hi. So, the weather today? Indeed, it is quite pleasant. The clouds with the hue of our uniforms drifting across the sea. The rain dropping peacefully to the ground. And who could forget that crack the crackling that occasionally interrupts our speech? Yuri, we're in a thunderstorm. Right. You find that pleasant? I, I do. <laughs> You're so weird, Yuri. Uh, I mean that in a good way. Like, I hear it. I enjoy hearing you talk about things. Look, I'm sorry for being a bitch earlier. I'm also sorry for not ever taking you seriously. Uh, thanks. So, we cool? Yes. Hurry for friendship! Looks like the two of them made up for their quarrel from earlier. Okay, everyone. It's time for us all to head home. Shouldn't we wait until this storm stops, Monik? Uh, mother Oh. Okay. Oh, we're in the forest? Okay. Wait, what? Where am I? What? What the heck did Sayori put in that cookie she gave me earlier? I should have known by the fact that she willingly gave up her food that there's something up. I'm not entirely sure if she, um, rugged me or something. Eh, you know, I don't know. I fear faint rusting in the distance as I take in my surroundings. Oh, Glob, am I gonna get eaten by a bear? No. Maybe it's Sayori. I mean, I was with her before I fell asleep. Hopefully she'll know how to get home. Whoa! Ho ho! Well, what can I say? Telekinesis? It's definitely not. Or, well, it's, it's no, no use! use. Whatever. I don't know. Oh, hi, Yuri. Ah, uh, Finn, what are you doing here? This place is five million hundred miles from civilization. I don't know. I... Walked? We're on an island. It seems I learned how to swim. I'm completely dry, though. I guess that cookie might be uh, a portal cookie? I guess. Then, if it is, then, uh... Sayori, thank you for the portal cookie. I don't know how that worked, but, uh... Eh. Speaking of which, how did you get here then? I can teleport. You can? How'd you manage that? Good question. My father landed on his business trips before he died. <laughs> so, basically, not only she can learn telekinesis from her mother, during her business trips before she died and the tea set that her mother brought in before she died. 
Yep, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's, uh, it's pretty neat, though. It's pretty neat. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Sorry if this sounds a little intrusive, but... How did your parents die? Good question. Okay, are you going to say the thing? What? The trees here in this forest have such a pleasant forest verdant shade, do they not? Or? So anyways, uh, telekinesis and teleportation, huh? That's pretty impressive. And she telephoned too. <laughs> I get a telephone, uh, telekinesis, or tele-joke. Or perhaps telescoping is an ability she possesses. Yes, I was just practicing before you arrived. And, well, well, I guess I, I still am practicing. Oh. Sorry. No worries. Did you need help getting back home? I don't think I have enough energy to go back, so yes. Understood. In that case, I will tele teleport you to your home. We need to make physical contact and then we'll be off. Like a piggyback ride? I think just holding hands would be easier. Well, put, the, put on those gloves, my dude. Oh, this sounds good. I walked through the clearing and, after narrowly avoiding tripping over a branch, gripped Yuri's hands with my own. Uh -huh. well, what's wrong? No, 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 nothing. It's just your skin is warm. Well, yeah, all humans kinda are. Uh, I've never actually touched one before. So, teleporting? Er, right, sorry. You probably think I'm weird now. Like Natsuki said, only the good, only the good kind. Thank you, Finn. Now get ready to feel very dizzy. What? Oh. Whoa, that is that is definitely dizzy right there. My blood sizzles as if I'm some kind of sentient soda. But hey, looks like I'm back home. I look around, but Yuri is nowhere to be found. She probably teleported after me. Well, I need to have a chat with Sayori, but first I need some sleep. Yeah, I need some sleep after what she did with that cookie. Have you seen the scene? Bloody bloody bloody. Same thing. Time to write a poem. And uh, I'm going to click normally or else this game will crash, so... It's a brand new day. A, br a bright new day. The sun is shining through the windows and I texted Yuri and she agreed to come over this afternoon. Just me and my supernatural goddess. Who could go wrong? But before she comes, I should stop by Sayori's place and follow up about yesterday. Uh, oh, huh. hello Yuri. That's a bit too close, huh, don't you think? Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, uh, hi Yuri. You're, uh, a little early. Five hours early to be specific. I, I just thought I'd come sooner, as they say. The early bird gets the worm. Does that make me a worm? N no, not at all. I'm sorry. Calm down, I'm just messing with you. You are? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's good to see you. How, what do you say we go get some food? Ah, uh, yes. A human bonding exercise. Exactly. And here we are at this nondescript upscale cafe. It definitely isn't a fast food restaurant that the developers were too lazy to grab a new background for to replace. <laughs> that would be blasphemy. This is a high quality mod that hasn't been for mostly forgotten for 15 months. <laughs> ah yes, haven't forgotten ever since uh, I gently opened the door. I I'm glad this, this mod is, is out now so whoop de doo uh, VA. Kudos. Wait, what? We would never stoop so low as to... This place seems very pleasant. Agreed. The two of us sit in silence as we peer at the menu, trying to decide what scrumptious food we plan to devour. Well, can I get you two started on the drinks tonight? Just water. And for you? What do you want, Yuri? Uh, Yuri? She doesn't respond. I guess just water for her too? Alright. The water walks off. Yep. 
Just water. Even though my water bottle is now empty, but oh well, I may, I'm, I'm, I might have to refill that later. The shy to order? Uh, I'm not shy. I have a mortifying fear of waiters. Waiters specifically? Yes. How could they just stand there, looking down on you, their judgmental eyes, Finn? Those eyes are on, are part of, a part of only the worst of my nightmares. Who knows what they're writing on their little notepads? What secrets, secrets lie on those pages? They could be cursing us for all we know. Oh, well, I think you're the only one in this building capable of cursing somebody. I suppose you're right. Want me to order for you? I simply need to prepare myself. I'll take your word for it. We both return to our respective menus until the waiter returns. Are you two ready to order? Yuri nods her head. I think so. What can I get you started with? Just water. And your meal? Water is enough! <laughs> yep, it's just water. Alright then. The waiter turns to address Yuri. And for you? Yuri musters all of her courage by taking a deep breath. Steak, please. And how would you like that cooked? What? Please, it don't have. Please. It should. <laughs> I was going to say the steak shouldn't be rare. After eating a delicious meal, Yuri kindly teleported me home. And in case if anyone's asking, no, I never had a steak that's rare because that is just. Uh, that is just weird. I really do not like the raw, um, the raw inner, the raw innards or insides of that, of that kind of steak. That is just, that's just wrong. I, I, I really do not like it, like it raw, honestly. After eating a delicious meal, Yuri kindly teleported me back home. Man, I'm stuffed. That was some great food. All you had was water. If you drink enough water, it's basically food. I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> well, if, if it's just water, then of course you have to go to the toilet and pee. Well, guess I'll see you at school. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I feel like there's something missing from this scene. Oh, I got it. We then kiss or something. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, ooh, ooh. no, I am not going to say that in Yuri's voice, but well, I'll just do it, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm sorry I had to hear that. I am so sorry. <laughs> so what's up with you and the letter U? It happens to be my favorite letter. Oh. Okay. How did I get here? Time skips. Already helping Yuri, so focus on he uh, helping everyone else. All right. Uh, kill your um, unalive your dad. Already know that. Don't be sad, of course. Blah. It's a nice post club afternoon. I notice Yuri is reading her painting thing on the edge of the fountain. Oh, of course, the painting of Markov. Before I can call out to her, another guy does. He seems familiar. What scene was he from again? Hey, freak. Yuri shows no reaction, likely because she has been consumed by the contents of her book. I'm talking to you. The guy, who I think was named Edward, grabs Yuri by her shoulder and gives her a shake. It would be impactful for you to see this, or for Edward to have a sprite, but we got a budget. Huh? You think you're so cool, you and your posture? Can I help you? Yeah, sure. Say hi to the fishies for me. The fishy- what the- Without warning, other than the ominous line about fishies, Edward shoves Yuri into the fountain. Yuri! I run towards a fountain. Peering in, Yuri is nowhere to be found. Guess she teleported. Oh, <laughs> ah, thank goodness for teleportation. Thank you. Putting Yuri's aside, safety aside for a moment, I turn to Edward. But he is nowhere to be found either. 
guess he teleported? Oh well, problem for later. What's really important is finding and checking in on Yuri. I might know where to find her, but getting there will be an issue. Hey Sayori. Hey f wait what? What does that say? Hey Finn, what can I do for you? Hold on, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh right, the uh the cookie. Right. I leave the room. I gently open the door. <laughs> oh, this um this lie never gets old for me. Like really, aside from the obvious Sayori hanging joke. Whatever. Sayori? Yes, Finn. Uh, yes, Finn. I'm still here. Now, were you interested in buying a self-defense news? Perhaps a line landmine even? Or maybe even a cookie? No. Wait. A cookie. I'll take a cookie. Sure thing. One self-defense cookie coming right up. What makes it self-defense? Well, I figured it would be a lot more acceptable to have a self-defense news than it would have a regular one. So I applied the concept to mercury-filled cookies. Mercury? Oh no, I, I'm definitely gonna get food poisoned, aren't I? That makes sense. Hold on, mercury? Yeah, are they neat? They're super shiny on the inside. So was I just your R&D when I ate one? Yeah, pretty much. Clearly the dosage was too low. I can sell you with the proper amount if you like. I'm good. But if you have any leftovers of the old ones, I could use some of those. I have some left over. I was gonna give them to the club, but you can take them. Wait. If we're gonna give them to the club, that means they're gonna teleport somewhere just like MC last time in that island. Oh, Sayori, you and your inventions are insane! But I love you. Yes, please. And plus, she's also crafty, so I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> but still, that is just absolutely wrong that I just got teleported out of nowhere with that cookie she made. She hands me the cookies. After shoving them in my pockets, I jammed the cookie in my mouth. Disclaimer. Please don't try this at home. Yes, do not try this at home. And uh, I'm, not responsible, or I'm not responsible for this. Or we are not responsible for this. Uh, me, VA, everyone else involved in this. Worked like a charm. Man, Sayori sure is a lifesaver. I continue through the woods until I find Yuri. She's lying on the ground, holding what seems to be an empty ball in her hand. Once I get close, she notices me and stands up. Just on time. Oh. Are you okay, you are you okay there, Yuri? Hey Yuri, you feeling okay? I feel incredible. I'm a yandere now. Did the fountain incident bring this on or the bottle? Where did you get the knife? Good question. My sister brought it back for me on one of her business trips. Before she killed my parents. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> no, that's absolutely <laughs> up. Uh, this is me where I die. Pretty sure my life is riding on how I go about calming her down. Oh. Right choice, wrong choice, uh, let's go with the right one. Ah, fuck it, I got no better ideas. I grab a cookie out of my pocket and jam into Yuri's mouth. Ooh, s s sorry I wanted to stab you previously. There you go, back to normal. No worries. I could never hold anything against Yuri. Waifuism. <coughs> yeah. Are you feeling okay? I'm doing quite fine. Well, just know that I love you and I think you're pretty poggers. Yep. Thank you, Finn. So, uh, do you want to call it a day or... We could for finish a portrait of Markov. If you want to. I love to. Lovely. We lay on the log and begin reading. Hours pass. 
Then those hours turn into days and days turn into weeks. Months turn on to years and so on. I lost track of time long ago, and yet we made no progress on reading the portrait of Markov. Its length may be very well be infinite. No matter how coordinated our page turning is, it seems new pages are spawned into existence faster. We grow old and frail, yet we continue on. Our hearts no longer flutter as our souls fester. Are we even here anymore? Do we even exist? But where is here anyways? No, seriously, I have no idea where this island is located. We could be on, on another planet for all I know. Just the two of us, turning page after page for all eternity. A never-ending cycle of words that have lost their color. There is no escape from this grip of this monotonous tome of wisdom. We're stuck here forever. Oh! Oh! oh hello, Sayori! Hey, hey, you guys! Uh... Hey, Sayori, how'd you find this place? I don't know. I... walked? We're on an island. I'm pretty sure you teleported as me as well as mine as well, or as me. Is this heaven? Your dosage is still too low. God damn. <laughs> well. Well, then that's the uh, the right choice for the Yuri route, and uh, let's check out the the wrong choice. <laughs> Okay, here we are, and I forgot to mention, after doing this wrong choice, maybe, just maybe, I can get to the Monica route, but uh, I'm not entirely sure how long this video will be, but we'll see about that. Damn, that's hot. I'm glad you think so. Oh! And I'm being stabby-stabby to death. Yuri stabs me, seductively. She keeps on slashing me until I'm filled with more holes than a sponge. You do have some kind of healing magic, right? Nope. Well, I'm dead. Truly dead. There you go. <laughs> but, but, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Let's, uh, let's check out the Monica route. Uh, uh... Check that later, because of course, Monica's nice. Lol, nice try. Who should I actually play the route of? Okay, not, not there? Okay. Secret Monica route. Here we go. Hey Finn. Hi Monica, what's up? Something really cool just happened. Want to hear about it? Of course. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, development on the Monica route is now an indef <laughs> indefinite hiatus. We thank you for your understanding. Okay. What's going on? What? Okay, my game is not responding. Could this be loading or... Oh. <laughs> it just closed my game! Well, um, that's uh, Doki Doki Cliché Club for you guys, and my glob, this mod. What a ride this is, and after 15 months since I gently opened the door, we we finally got the mod that the um that the um that the mod just mentioned, and my glob. It's it's a definite purchase. I highly recommend it. If you're going to get a self-defense news, buy a second one. They'll throw in a copy of Doki Doki Cliché Club. So um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as for the routes, though, well, my favorites would have to go or would have to be Sayori route, Sayori's route, because obvious reasons. But um, Natsuki's route, man, that was just um, that was kind of funny though, because of the part where uh, Natsuki got shot to death by MC with a Desert Eagle that came out of nowhere. Yuri's route, well. I'd say it's uh, it's pretty neat considering that I did this video for you guys anyway. So uh, hope you guys find that it's pretty neat too. <laughs> and the secret Monica route, well, I'm pretty sure VA hates Monica, so I guess that makes kind of sense. But eh, their opinion, I ain't gonna change. I ain't gonna change them for for that one. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they love or hate Monica, but still, eh, who knows? 
so yeah if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing be sure to leave a like comment down below and of course subscribe if you haven't already it'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this and click on the bell notification to be notified and if you want to play this mod for yourself as always link in the description below and with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching Finn the Dime Knight signing off and I'll see you guys next time and as always stay awesome and have fun fellow knights and adventurers